Okay, so hello, hello everyone. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to upload your voice notes on LMS. So obviously the first thing you need to do is to record your voice or to record the file you want. Now, a lot of students are asking me what kind of program shall I use? It's really up to you. You can use any program. You can use any application. If you have any phone applications, you can use that to record your voice or you can actually even use a program on your PC. Every PC comes with some sort of sound recorder, as you can see over here. So this is my sound recorder. You just basically click on start recording. You record your voice and you share your wonderful thoughts with us for two minutes. And then, of course, you save your file anywhere you want. And then you have to upload it on the system itself. Okay. So let me just quickly show you what you have to do. So on LMS, obviously, when you first log in, go to My Courses, go to EL119. And once you do that, you will see that in the middle over here, you've got all the important information that you need. So you've got the news, helpful notes, important links, listening practice, and so on. But of course, for the purpose of this video, we're, we're just mainly concerned with the voice recordings. So you see the uh, you see this part over here. You just click on this link where it says upload your first five files here. Okay. So you click on that, and then of course it gives you some information about the assignment itself. So it tells you that of course by the end of the year, you know you should have at least uh, or should have at least ten uh, audio files, one file for each uh, for each unit. Uh, but for this specific link, it says only your first five files should be submitted here. So only the first five files before the midterm on this link, and then there will be another link uh, which will come after that. And of course, you've got the deadline. So the deadline is the 3rd of November at 11.55. This is very, very important, of course. So anyway, when, you, when you've saved your file, just click on Upload Files over here. It says No File Submitted Yet. Click on Upload Files. And this is where you really have to be patient because uh, sometimes uh, it takes maybe almost a minute for this part to actually work, so you can see that I've got the um, I've got this little thing going on over here telling me to wait and to be patient. So the page is still loading actually, uh, but when that's done, uh, I will show you exactly how to upload your file. So if you if you've done this so far, then you are you know you're doing very well. You can see at the top over here it says uh, maximum size for for a new file is five megabytes. So each file should not be more than five megabytes. And of course, you can upload the maximum of only five files. And that's only for uh, the files before the midterm. After the midterm, we will give you another link where you can upload the uh, rest of the, or the, the, other, the other five. So you can see, after waiting patiently for 20 seconds, I got, I got I get this box over here. You can you know you can you can you can hold your file, drag it and drop it automatically over here, or if you want, you can just click on the plus sign, and you can search for your file. So I'm gonna search for my file. It's called run unit one dot wma and I click on open I found my file then I'm gonna click on upload this file and you should see this annoying uh, loading sign again but this is a this is a true test of your patience you just have to be patient again and again after some time you switch you, you should see your file uh, uploaded on the system. Of course, when you've done that, don't forget to click on Save Changes. A lot of students actually forget to click on Save Changes. So you click on Save Changes, and when you go back to the old page, now you should see that your submission uh, is actually over here. So it shows Farran Unit 1.wma. And you do this, of course, for all the other files. So when you want to upload your second file, you click exactly, you, you do exactly the same thing. Edit these files, and then, of course, you have to wait patiently once again. And um, you just upload the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth files. And of course, don't forget to save. And uh, that's it. So I hope this video was useful. And if you have any questions or any problems, please come and talk to us or come and see us or send us a message on LMS. Thank you for listening.